Hi, my name is Victor and I'm going to show you a little, a simple workflow for creating roads or sidewalks in Revit that follow uh, topography. So, I'm using Dynamo here and this is how it works. Uh, I'm going to plan view. Uh, I'm going to sketch with model lines. Let's draw a simple rectangle to start with, like this. And in Dynamo, here I select uh, the lines. Next, I can select the top surface. And here I select the floor type. I'm actually using uh, a Revit floor for my road, for my sidewalk, or whatever. And I'm going to make uh, it um, surrounded with uh, light posts. You can use this uh, for fencing or whatever. And I'm going to leave uh, this uh, to 500 centimeters. This is the distance between the light posts. Let's run it. Okay, it's done. So here it is. Uh, let's look at it in 3D. This is my floor, timber suspended floor, we can change it uh, to whatever we want. The points are going to be the same, it's going to stay on the ground. <laughs> it's following uh, the top surface pretty nicely. These are our lamp posts. We can change the distance later. But uh, okay, let's try changing the model lines. I'm going to go to the side panel once again. I'm going to move it a little to see what's going on. So I'm going to make a curve uh, like this. I'm going to extend it. I'm going to close it here. And I'm going to fillet the lines like this because I created new lines I have to select it uh, once again I'm going to Dynamo select model lines like this and I'm also going to change the distance between posts uh, let's say about uh, 300 centimeters let's run it it's going to think for a while not too much, I hope. And it's ready. Okay, here it is. Our road have this curve here. The lamp posts. It's nicely following our simple topography. Okay, this is it for now. Uh, I'm going to create some other videos on this topic dealing with topography in Revit, uh, with or without Dynamo, and I'm going to upload them here. Thanks for your attention, goodbye.